Well, welcome to this value med presentation video for the EcoTest cholesterol meter system. This is the box pack. You can see that it has CE0197 certification for self testing or home test use. The meter allows you to detect and measure total cholesterol levels, HDL or high density cholesterol levels, triglycerides, low density lipoproteins or cholesterol levels, and the meter will also electronically work out the total cholesterol to HDL ratio for you. Now, if you're considering purchasing one of these meters, you probably have an issue with either elevated cholesterol or maybe on dietary modification already or on statins to lower your cholesterol. And you're looking for a meter system which will allow you to monitor your progress. And uh, this is an ideal choice for you. You'll see from the advertorial on the front of the pack. It uh, suggests laboratory accuracy and quick results within two minutes. And it will do both of those. But to operate this successfully, there are some tips that we're going to give you in this video series, particularly surrounding setting up the meter collectively, making sure that it is set to test the correct sample that you are putting into it that you are collecting your blood samples accurately and providing the absolute essential 35 microliters of blood through the supplied pipettes into the device. The readings must also be done in good light conditions and all of those elements are critical if you are to obtain the plus or minus 15% variance that the manufacturer specifies is possible with this meter system. Get any one element wrong or try putting an inadequate blood sample into the device and you will get erratic readings. So some tips for you in the next series of videos to ensure that you are successful with the eco test device. Please keep watching. Please also read the instruction leaflet and manuals that are provided with the uh, cholesterol meter when you get this starter pack. And uh, if you do so, then there's every confidence that you will get a accurate set of cholesterol readings using this test device. Now, inside the pack, when it's opened, you'll be supplied with a pack insert for the test uh, devices, the cholesterol meter instructions, and then in this zip cased storage compartment, you will have four AAA batteries. A pack of two cholesterol check devices. Now these are check devices for the optical check on the meter and then this is the digital meter itself. So what we're going to show you next is uh, inserting the batteries and setting the time and date on the meter so that when you come to do your first test it will record the time, date and readings that that test shows. In this section, we're going to demonstrate how to set the time, date and year on the meter before performing the first test. On the rear of the meter is the battery cover. Remove this and align the batteries in the base. You'll see alignment guides in how they are inserted. I'm going to insert the final one and what you'll hear is the meter. Just give a little beep. Replace the battery compartment and then if you turn the meter over and hold and depress the power button in the center, the meter should power up. Now, to enter the time and date, the default setting, as you'll see here, is uh, requesting the code chip be inserted, which is supplied with the test strips. You can override this at this point by just holding the power button for two seconds, and you'll see the menu comes up. We want to enter the system menu, so if you just depress the power button a second time, and it will give you the options there, we are going to select the date setting by touching the power button again. And then you're in straight to setting the hour and minute, month and day and year. You can select up or down using the up or down keys. And when you get the correct time, this is a 24 hour clock. So if you go, you'll see that going up to 16 for four o'clock. We're gonna set this at 10 o'clock. Once you've got the hour right, it will jump by pressing the power button to minute. Take that down using the down key to zero. And then we're into month. So we'll go for January. And the day is the 21st. 
and then the year 2025 and then you will revert back to the original settings. If you just hold the power button now for a further two seconds it should come out of the menu. Same again for two seconds and you'll see uh, again it is asking to insert the code chip to prepare the meter for running the tests. Now a code chip is supplied with each batch of test strips that you buy and the code must match and be inserted into the meter the first time you get new test strips. So this goes into the port on the side there. You'll see the meter beep and acknowledge that uh, the code chip inserted is L0071. The test devices must match the code chip coding that is inserted into the meter. So replace the code chip each time you get a different batch of test devices. Now in this section, we're going to show you how to select the display units. Now, if you take the meter and depress the power button for two seconds, you will see the menu come up. If we're going to enter system menu by pressing the power button again and navigate down to unit set, press the power button and it will give you the option to toggle between millimoles per litre and milligrams per deciliter. Most UK readings are reported in millimoles per litre, but you can select between the two at leisure. Once you've selected the one of choice, set the power button again. One final check that we're going to do before performing the first test is to check that the sample set is in peripheral blood. The meter has the ability to switch between peripheral blood, venous blood, or testing plasma and serum. For peripheral or capillary blood samples, it should be on peripheral blood. Do ensure this is set correctly before performing your first test. Once you're happy with that, navigate down to the back button and then exit the main menu. You'll see now that we are confident this meter has its time and date set correctly, is set to measure peripheral blood and that the display readings will be in millimoles per litre. You are now ready to perform your first test. Preparing for your first test. The meter is set up with batteries, time and date, and the code chip is in place in the meter. Supplied with the test devices are these pipettes. They will obtain exactly 35 microliters of blood to this black line on the barrel. The bulb on the end of the pipette is not squeezed to suck blood into the pipette. Simply present it into the blood droplet and the blood will naturally flow into the pipette up to this black line. Continue feeding the pipette into the blood sample until it reaches this line. Do not squeeze the bulb as this will encourage blood air bubbles and the sample volume will be incorrect. The bulb is used to discharge the blood from the barrel into the test device when the sample has been accurately collected. If you do not succeed in obtaining a good lance and a good 35 microliter of sample naturally sucked into the pipette, then you should relance and not waste the test device as inadequate samples are the commonest cause of erratic or erroneous readings. The lancing device that's supplied with the meter is a single-use safety lancet. We will demonstrate this being used. Also have handy a little pad of cotton wool or tissue paper. This is used to wipe the first droplet of blood that forms following lancing away. And the second droplet is what is used to test using this device. We are going to demonstrate the process in the next section of this video. When you are ready to perform your first test, Wash your hands thoroughly in warm water for between 60 and 90 seconds. This is to encourage the perfusion peripherally and to open up those capillaries to allow a good sample. Dry the hands thoroughly and when you've done this, take the test device from its packet and insert it into the meter. The meter will now do nothing until you press the power buttons. You are now ready to do your finger lance. Standing up with the hands supine, 
support either the index or the middle finger, remove the cover from the safety lancet, brace the finger and on the side push firmly down with the lancet. Do not be timid, push down, you'll see the first droplet form. I'm going to wipe that away and allow a second droplet to naturally form. You'll see if the hands are warm enough the blood will form nicely. Introduce the pipette and start to collect the blood sample. You'll see it drawing along naturally and you must get a full 35 mil. We see it stops as soon as it gets to that level. Now introduce the power button to the meter. It will power up. The code strips device is inserted and it's preparing and it will now ask for the sample to be added. Squeeze the pipette to discharge the 35 mil of blood into the test device. The meter should now be activated and you'll see we're analysing this sample. Leave the meter in an upright position. It is critical that this is in a well lit area and it will take approximately two minutes to analyse the sample and display your cholesterol result. So we'll come back and show you the result of this sample in just over two minutes. After two minutes, the meter will display the five results. Here we can see total cholesterol is at 6.78, the HDL 0.72, triglycerides 1.34 millimoles per litre, and an LDL of 5.45. The total cholesterol to HDL ratio is 9 to 4.1. The date and time of the reading is recorded in the memory and the memory function can be accessed at any time. So that shows you how to run your cholesterol test using the Ecometer. The test device can now be removed and disposed of safely just by pulling out there. Thank you for watching this demonstration video of the Ecotest 5-in-1 cholesterol meter. If you have any further questions, please contact our customer service and support team on 01263 731 168. This number will be in the description of this video below. Thanks for watching and good luck with your cholesterol journey.